Hi and welcome to Makeup Mug Want. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's do some makeup this morning. And we're going to do a green eye. We're going to go, oh, hi, Ty. We're going to do a green eye and, uh, you know, do one of those eyes that is inappropriate for professional work. But can you go lay down on your bed and take a nap for me? Thank you. I have so much going on and I'm so excited to talk to you all. Um, this is my, my bunny corn for Easter. Um, we're going to, I'm going to start with my eyes today, which I hardly ever do, but I'm going to do today. This is the first time I'm using the P. Louise Basic Hint of Mint Cosmetic Base. I'm so excited. So it's not going to be a mint eye, but I do want to, I'll, I'm going to try this, this base today for that for the eyeshadow primer instead of just regular old eyeshadow primer. We're going to try this out. So you can use this just, I put way too much on my palette. Um, you can use this just this, like this, this, if you're going to, you can use this as an eyeshadow and be done with it. You can use it anywhere on your face. Um, Heck yeah. That's quick and easy, ain't it? I have way too much. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so my pineapple shirt is a couple of years old. And I think it's from Torrid. Um, my earrings are from Cato, I think I found them. And they don't mean anything like, there's no message hidden here, all you gutter thinkers. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> I just, I just liked it. I thought it was fun. And look how cute. I mean, they're adorable. Um, so don't, don't, look, listen, if you're in the South and you've got a Kato, don't pass it up for some ridiculous, amazing things. Because this is ridiculous and amazing. Okay, so I've smeared that on. And I'm going to use, for the first time, the plush palette from Sample Beauty. I got this off of Beauty Bay. And this is their Rich Tones palette. And it's just everything. And yes, I'm using this row today. Look at her. Yes. I'm so excited. Um, so, I mean, beyond excited. I, I want... I'm going to do a Beauty Bay haul of all the stuff that I've got. And I might just do like what I've bought off Beauty Bay or the Beauty Bay palettes that I own video because I've gotten some in and I went ahead and put them on my shelf. I have the shelf tour up if you want to see that. Um, and the a lot of folks are interested in the ColourPop like thing I got going on there. It's a CD holder off of Amazon. Oh. It's linked down below. So that it, I turned it on its side because it doesn't fit if you sit it upright. The ColourPop like nine pans are too, they're not wide enough to fit this way. But if you turn it on its side, you can line them up like that. It's fabulous. Anyway, um, so love that for me. And then um, I've, I've just, I've got so many things, so many things to film, so many enjoyable things to have fun with. I'm going to start with some some powder on top of this and we are probably going to go all the way up to the brow bone today because that's how I'm feeling so I'm going to take the shade up market which seems to be a mint and I can be a little bit messy here because I am going to clean this up with a wipe um, before I do my base and all that which is why we're doing our eyes first is so that we can be a bit messy and have a good time and not have to like be super careful about stuff so this is just a mint matte shade that is beautiful and it's going right on top again this is going to be a non-wearable for you know the boardroom unless you're super cool which one day i might be this cool we'll see we'll see actually i probably could wear this at work and they would just keep on walking 
because it's me. What are y'all doing this weekend? <sighs> um, we have, I have a couple things. I mean, I've got school things, of course. This is the next shade down called Luscious. Um, I've got some school stuff to do. We're getting kind of close. Like school typically ends the second week of May. So we're getting near the end of that. And we're, you know, kind of still doing work every week and all that. But starting to look at final exams and time frames for that and all that jazz. So that's coming. And then... We actually are leaving the house today. I cannot believe it either. We have plans, like, in the world. So some friends of of friends um, are having a beast feast. Have you ever heard of these? Neither have I. Um, until now. <laughs> so they're going, they have all kinds of dishes, me meats, different animals to eat. I'm so sorry my vegetarian vegan friends. Um, they are preparing like I don't know pheasant and bear and rattlesnake and weird buffalo. You know I say weird. Buffalo might not be weird but kind of is to me. I don't eat it every day. Um, but they're gonna have chicken so I'll be fine. But that's <laughs> that's tonight. So we're gonna go and Mr. Mugwump will happily try all the things. I will happily eat the chicken and be happy that he is happy. Okay, so I've got the darkest shade called Overspending. Rude. And I'm putting that like halo eye location. So inner corner, outer corner, and then connecting in the crease. And then we will, we will jazz it up a little bit with some shimmer. All these are matte that I've got so far on my eye. Okay. It's so nice when you start with your eyes and you don't have to be careful. I mean, I could probably do this and tap off, you know, all that, but it's just so much nicer when you don't have to be, and you can just be super messy, and it, it, it allows your creativity to just not have to be I don't know, squashed in any way, and then you can clean it up later. I get why, like, artist studios are a mess, you know? Because why be neat when you can be messy? Gosh, that's a pretty blend. That is a pretty blend. Watch this stain my eyes. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. How are we feeling about that? I think it's gorgeous. Take a little bit more than mint and just. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's pretty. Listen, it's a process. It is a process. All right, we're going to start. We'll see if it picks up on a brush. This is the shade Snazzy. It does. It does pick up on a brush, which is good. I'm gonna try my finger too, but, oh yeah. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. These colors are so well, I don't wanna say blended, but paired, I guess. Selected, that is, ju they just go so nicely together. And they have a, the same tone so that it is a gradient without, I mean, you don't have to, you don't have to think about it. It's a lovely, it's gorgeous. It is so pretty. Okay, so let me show you what I've done. This is the mint shade that I started with up to the brow. This is the next one that I put in the crease and above. 
Here's the darkest shade on the inner and outer corner. And then this is the shimmer that is in the, in the middle. Um, we can certainly go more shimmery, and we might, if I think I want it. But I think, I mean, I think this is beautiful. I think it's absolutely stunning. This, I want to also do, I mean, I'll do the same dang eye right here with this purple. Oh my goodness. But it's also got like, like, it's got this quad down here is a perfectly normal, like everyday look. This is a beautiful mauve. This is the, you know, real pretty, like fall orangey pumpkin spice kind of moment. This is beautiful. Sample Beauty, the plush palette. Sorry for the mess, but it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Um, off of Beauty Bay, I am a fan and I would buy the next palette that they come out with because I think it's absolutely stunning. Um, so pretty. Okay, hold that. And then let me kind of, I'm, I'm teal everywhere. So let me get these cleaned up real quick and then we'll clean up our face. Okay, cleaned up, just used a baby wipe, makeup wipe, whatever, and got most of it cleaned up. <laughs> this, I was very messy, but it is easy to remedy. Ooh, itching. Okay, so there's that. We'll do eyeliner and mascara and all that jazz in a little while. Let's do the rest of our face. And then we'll come back to eyes. So for this week, I've been enjoying several of my newer foundations and tried out a couple of other things this week as I got ready for work. Um, one that I'm, I'm still loving, even though she smells like death, is the, the little OC one. And I think I want to use her today. But I've used my Merit, the Minimalist Stick, several times. Um and the stick foundation, and I've used, oh, the, where is it? The Neutrogena Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. I've got it in Sheer Ivory 10. This is a nice one for um, a real quick, it's got SPF 30. That's a nice one too. And then, oh wait, no, I don't wanna use this one. Let me show you which one I'm gonna use. I know which one. It's this one, the L'Oreal Age Perfect uh, Four-in-One Tinted Balm. Y'all, I love this. This is one I wanna use today. I haven't used her, I used her once this week, and I was like, I want to use her again. Okay, she's a weird color. This is um, 10 Fair Pale, and she's a weird color. I mean, it's peachy is what it is, which, you know, a lot of foundations are. Oh, I didn't even prime. Look at me. Well, and I'll tell you what I put on right before I started was the Sunday Riley Ice. It's the Ceramide. Oh, that's in French. Hold on. Where's the actual English? There it is. It's the... This one. I have this like sample from when I ordered from the Sunday Riley 
website to get my jumbo good jeans and it's so nice so I used that today I did a snail the peach slices snail uh, mask this morning while I was in the bubble bath and put on the ceramide cream when I got out and it's so moisturizing and lovely um, and it's she thick y'all that ceramide cream is real thick she's not she's nice but you gotta be wanting some moisture so it's actually okay that I didn't prime because it's it hasn't been too long since I put that on we plump See, it's, it's peachy, but it's not too, like you can see, it's not terrible. It's not terrible, but this balm is so nice. I love a balm foundation so much. So I put it on with a brush, and then I go over it with a sponge, just like any other balm foundation. The Good Apple from KVD Vegan Beauty. Kevin Aqua foundation balm, all of it, just wet sponge or damp sponge, not wet, but go over it and then we're good to go. They look so nice on my skin. I love them. I have normal skin. It's not too dry. It's not too oily. I do get, you know, dry patches every once in a while and I can get oily in my T-zone. I'm like a normal person, but nothing that I have to counteract with. A specific type of foundation or primer. I'm pretty normal. Love it. Okay, um, concealer today. Let's use an oldie but goodie. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. This is the infinite one. It's just, it's in C4. It's got this gargantuan doe foot. She's, I like, I like the Conceal and Define and the other one, the Moisturizer one. That one's really nice too. They're both pretty dang good at under eye concealing for me. I know the Outside looks harsh. Don't worry, we'll get it. And I. I'll make sure that's buffed in right there. There we go. There we go. And that inner corner, too. We're going to get that. Don't worry. I know it's a funky shape. Don't you worry, boo. We'll get it. Okay. Right? Glowy, pretty, lovely. Love it. Powder this week, sometimes I've actually gone without powder, and that's been nice. But the other powder that I've, well, I've used two powders this week. One is the Laura Geller Balance and Bright, nope, yep, Balance and Brighten in Porcelain. And the other has been the e.l.f. Camo Powder in 120N. This is more yellow, this is more pinky, and they are both lovely for coverage. So let's use the Balance and Brighten in Porcelain and let's, <laughs> I'm going to not use it super concentrated. If I use like a buffing brush, I will get um, a much more sheeny look than if I just take it kind of as a setting powder, not as a powder foundation. You can do it either way, which is what makes this powder so nice is you can do it lightly or you can do it concentrated and buff it into the skin. This is one of my favorite powders that I have ever used. I've used up several of them over the years, which says a lot because I have a lot of makeup and I can try a lot of things. If I've used something up, it means something. Okay. See? Pretty. Still glowy. Still pretty, but set. Beautiful. I've used it in fair and porcelain and even light, I think. So it can be, it can be either. 
Okay, let's go ahead and do, I'll set under my eyes in a minute. Let's do bronzer and blush. I haven't, I haven't switched it up at all this week. I've been using the Kiko. This is the Sweet Affairs Duo Cocoa Highlighter. Um, it's technically a highlighter. Y'all, I have used this as a bronzer all week because it is a, it, it is to me. <laughs> So I can use the the highlighty or side for highlighter and the bronzer side for bronzer, and it's gorgeous. I think it's so pretty. So anyway, um, I don't mind a shimmery bronzer. I don't mind. I think it's beautiful. So um, that's that. I've also continued to use the Wet n Wild blush that's just sitting here, um, because she's here. I need to clean off my vanity at some point, y'all. So soon and very soon, I will clean off my vanity and switch some of these things out. But for now, I've been enjoying them. Right? Just glowy and beautiful. Beauty. Now, let's set under the eyes. I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Secret Under Eye Brightening Powder, but I'm going to quickly tap out and get some of, some of the excess from not only the eyeshadow the hiccups, but the under eye concealer that is not the brush I want this is the brush I want glory be okay this is a beautiful powder it's been a a beautiful one. I've used it for such a long time. And I'll put it back in my drawer and then I'll break it back out and give me like, why did I put that away? Why? Because it's so pretty. Now, oh, let me tell you what I'm, okay. Cause so I'm just, I'm going to start telling you what I'm wearing as far as fragrance. This is called the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. Y'all, this this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. If you like vanilla and if you like warm, woodsy, that sounds so, that's exactly what it is. It's amazing. Uh, that's a good scent. I'm almost out of, I've already used up my DKNY, the Apple one. What is it called? Be Delicious, whatever. This is the Giorgio Armani My Way. Yo, I'm almost out of her. I've been using her all week. It's good. Man, it's good. I think Dossier has a, a clone fragrance of My Way and the one I like from Lancome, the La Vies Belle. I think they have a clone fragrance of that, so I might be placing a Dossier order. I, ain't gonna, I don't want to pay the actual prices for it, but I love them. They're so nice. They're so nice. Um, Love them a lot. Okay. Um, Let's do brows real quick. Do I have an actual pencil that I'm using? Let's use. Oh, let's use an elf pencil. No, I need to, no. Oh, look. We have to use this up. This is the <laughs> It Cosmetics Brow Power and Universal Taupe. And it's so good, but man, y'all, I've got to get to the end of it. with a bold, colorful look like this, I'm gonna want pretty defined brows as far as like just where they should start on underneath. Like I could just do a brow gel, you know, and not necessarily define that, but I think it would be, it'll look better if I have that kind of defined line there yeah okay now we'll I'll use my merit brow gel this is the brow 1980 this is lovely it's like a pomade on a spoolie and it works really really well and I love her oh got some on my forehead like you do
we are looking fly. I don't even know if I want to put on highlighter today. I'm just, I'm glowy everywhere. Like, but I'm looking good. Let me spray my face. This is the Elf Jen Atkin. Spray that smells like vacation. It's so nice too. Oh, that's a nice smell. Almost done with her. I want to do an inner corner and I want it to be super bright white. So I think I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Sugar. This is a single from Wet n Wild that is super bright white. And I'm going to, yep, I'm going to tuck it right there into that notch that I left right there. Yep. And she is super bright white. See that? Gorgeous. Just reflective and beautiful. Okay. Next up, let's do eyeliner. And I'm going to do a wing. I'm going to have another video to film because it's going to be a giveaway for the eyeliner that I'm going to use. So three people will win um, the eyeliner that I'm going to use, which is the Eye Method Beauty, the stamps for right and left. Um, I method is sponsoring a, a giveaway for y'all, which is fabulous. So I'm going to make that video using the eyeliner uh, that I do. So I'm going to go do that real quick. I'll come back with my eyeliner done and then we'll finish with lashes and lips. I'll be right back. All right, we are back with our wings on. I use the I Met the Beauty stamps. There's one in right and left. Go check out that video for how to enter the getaway, the giveaway. Uh, thank you so much to I Method for sponsoring that giveaway. Uh, three of y'all can win this, and that's fabulous. Again, if you want to check out any of their products, I've got Amazon affiliate links down below. Um, go check them out and see what you like. They're very well priced, and they look. I cannot do this by hand, y'all. So many of y'all have watched me struggle so many times before. Uh, I'm so excited to have those. They make it so easy and quick. So uh, thanks so much for that. Let's get going with some lashes on on this old face. I think I'm going to do actual lashes today. I, I, this eye look just needs it. I don't know what lashes these are, but they appear to be already like, I don't know, hopefully cut for my eyes. We'll see. I just put, I have this thing. This is another product that I use a lot. It holds like random spider lashes that just look at this nastiness. There's some magnetics in there. There's some regular, who you know, whatever, but it's, <laughs> it's, I don't know what the lashes are, but I don't wear them so often that, um, I need to replace them very often. So, um, thank you pandemic for, you know, me not wearing lashes very much, but also I'm happy when I do get to wear them. And I'm excited to wear them today. So let's put some extra on the inside and outside so that we don't fight this lash today. Let's see how she goes. Um, I'm tr I'm thinking, I think I'm gonna do a nude lip, y'all. I don't think I can stand it. I know it's nude lip I want to use. Um, it's been my favorite for a hot minute. Um, for a brown nude, for the pinky nude, I've been that lip gloss in Dolly from Eye Method has been right in front of me all week. So I've been using that before a brown nude. I've been using something else that I really like. I'm honestly still deciding and I, I'm leaning still towards it to do the P. Louise like budget beauty box subscription for the year. But I don't know if I, it charges me shipping every month. Cause that's expensive too. I don't know what I need to figure it out how it works internationally because I want to do it. I, I want these eye bases are everything. And the eyeshadow, um, that I got the eyeshadow palette that I got, that was those, those gray ones. Oh, it was so beautiful. Okay. Can we do this like without getting it everywhere? My actual lashes 
on the outside of this eye curl up so fiercely that it blocks me from putting on the lash band. It's weird. It's the side I must sleep on more often, you know? Here we go. There's the inner corner. I think. Get in there, Bessie. There we go. One, ah, ah, ah. Let's, I'm sorry for those of you who are like, Leanne, you are too old. Don't care. Every time I count anything, I, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I just do. Okay. Second lash. I use the duo... What is it called? Brush on adhesive with vitamins. This, this is the one I use and I love it. I've only used this one ever. And so it's my go-to. This pair of lashes, whoever they belong to, um, has a, has a pretty thick band, which is not terrible. Um, I mean, it's not terrible. I typically like a, almost an invisible band like that, either super, super thin or an invisible band. But with a look like this, I think it looks fine. I've already got the black liner on. It doesn't look untoward in any way. Looks fine. It looks fine. We're going to talk about my nails today, too. We're going to we're going to do a, a review of an at home jail system because I got sent that. We're going to talk about. The do's and don'ts, because I tried that for the first time this month, and I want to tell you all about it because I learned some lessons, kids, and I have, no, this is the first time I've tried gels at home, and there's a lot, there is a learning curve. Uh, it's not super easy. I'm not a professional either. That's the other thing, is that a lot of folks who review products like this on YouTube are they, they are nail technicians, like they do this for a living, which is great to get a professional's opinion on how a product works and whether or not they like it and whether or not it works like in the business. That's wonderful. I've watched several videos on, on folks who do nails for a living. It's fascinating, but it's not my level. And so, and same thing with makeup. Like when you have a makeup artist come on and do some gorgeous something, I love it. I absolutely love it and I aspire to be to that level but I'm, I'm not there yet. And so that's why I really like everyday people who use products and review them on YouTube. And I mean, they're not a professional using these for profit, for, you know, they, they use them multiple times a day. I use, you know, for nails, you're talking once every two weeks, maybe. So 26 times a year, maybe, if I do my nails that often, which I don't because life, right? Like it's not a thing that is super high priority for me, as far as like, if I, if I have the time and the inclination, absolutely we'll do it. But if I don't, then it's okay. I won't, I won't die without doing my nails, but it helps me for someone who, who doesn't know a lot about the industry, the products to be able to say, Oh, this is this is something that I, that you can use at home, and anyone can use it. That makes a difference to me, and so that's why I like trying products that are designed for at home use, not for like professional use. Is because it helps it helps me to be able to tell you yes, you can use this. Or no, you can't. Like it's, or it, it will take. It'll take a lot of learning to learn it. There it is. Look at those, y'all, y'all. And some of y'all are saying, Leanne, you need to do a lower lash line with this look, or whatever. I know y'all have different opinions about how makeup should look, and so do I. And I like it just with the upper. So that's what we're gonna do today. Look at that. 
This is my favorite brown nude. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Slip Slip Gloss in Nude Mood. Y'all, it's not sparkly. It's three bucks. Look at this. Look at it. Not sticky. Not glittery. It is a beautiful gloss. Gorgeous. It's slightly brownie, but not like 1990s brownie. I have a lot of those. This is not that. Look at that. Are we not gorgeois? Yes, we are. And if you're like super creative, you know, do your little jewel rhinestone, you know, euphoria mess. Mess. Exciting things all over. This look is fabulous. This look is everything. I love it. Do you love it? I do. All right, let's do that thing where we take my hair down. This hair has not seen the light of day. This is sleeping on hair, so don't judge. But we'll we'll take it down for you. I know some of y'all love this part. I don't hardly ever do it, but I'll do it for you, boo. Okay. Sleeping on hair. All right. There she is. There, there she is. Yes, we need to get it re -dyed. Yes, we do. But don't you Here, we'll tuck it behind the ear so you can see your pineapple over there. Look how cute and cute. Right? Young? Yes. 100%. All right, y'all. If you haven't already, like this video if you don't mind. I'd appreciate it. This one took a little bit of editing. How fun is that? I don't ever edit. But I did today for you. Also, um, stay tuned for... All the other videos I have coming up. I've got a lot going on. Um, so stay tuned. Hit subscribe if you haven't. And that way they'll all show up on your feed. If you want to hit the bell for notifications, then you get, you know, the little cute pop-up on your phone that says, hey, you got a video to watch in case that's a thing for you. Um, I appreciate all y'all who've been so supportive and so kind. Thank you so much for all the comments and the thumbs up. I really appreciate them. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.